In this video, we're going to talk about rational exponents. The reason why they're called rational exponents is because the exponents are made up of a fraction. Okay, and remember, and it's a fraction of integers where the denominator is not equal to zero. And remember, that's the definition of a rational number. Okay, the numerator is the power that I'm going to raise this thing to. And the denominator is the root. x to the m over n is equal to x to the m, where I take the nth root. Or I can take the nth root of x and then raise that whole thing to the mth power. And this allows us to do some simplification of things or other methods to think about for simplifying radicals. So the examples I want to give you for this, we'll start out here. 2x times the fourth root of x cubed. So what I want to do is I want to turn it from this form into this form. So that's going to give me 2 x, and I'm going to put a 1 here, times x to the 3 quarters. Using my properties of exponents, I have the same base, so I can add the exponents. And this is where I find out whether or not you can do fractions. Okay? Well, I need to add this and come up with not a mixed number but an actual simplified fraction. 1 is 4 fourths. 4 fourths plus 3 fourths is 7 fourths. And my final answer would be 2x to the 7 fourths. Here's another way you can think about cube roots. Well, I know 27 is 3 cubed. Well, this is a power. That's the root. Power over root. Simplify. And I just get 3. Okay. Again, I'll stick with a power of 3. Okay. 243 was our memorized 3 to the 5th. And that gives me 5 thirds. If I ask you to write it in exponential form, that's the answer. Otherwise, think about this. 5 thirds is the same thing as 1 plus 2 thirds. So that's 3 to the first times 3 to the 2 thirds, which is 3 times the cube root of 9. 3 squared is 9 in the cube root. Read your directions carefully. If I don't tell you how to provide your final answer, that could be adequate. If I ask you to put it in exponential form, that's the way I want the answer. If I ask you to provide your final answer in radical form, you can use this method to come up with the final radical form also. Okay, read directions carefully. Another square root. Um, let's do the square root of x cubed, y to the fifth, z. I'm going to write these all in exponential form. Then I'm also going to rewrite my answer in radical form. So this would be x to the 3 halves times y to the 5 halves times z to the 1 half. So if I ask for exponential form, that's your final answer. If I ask for a radical form, I need to break this up. That's 1 and a half. So that's x to the 1 plus 1 half. That's 2 and a half. So that's y to the 2 plus 1 half. And that's z to the 1 half. x to the first is going to come outside. 
my y squared is going to come outside. And then all my one halves are going to stay underneath the square root symbol. And I now have an x, a y, and a z. So again, this is where I find out whether or not you can utilize fractions and the properties of exponents to help simplify some of these more complex radicals. Next example, 3x times the cube root of x squared. That's 3x to the first. That's x to the 2 thirds. 1 plus 2 thirds is 3 thirds plus 2 thirds, which is 5 thirds. And that would be the exponential form. If I were to ask you to put it in radical form, I'd get right back where I started from. x to the negative 3 half. Okay. Remember that a negative exponent says turn it over and then change the exponent to a positive. That would be exponential form. That's 1 and a half. So 1 and then the half. And that would be radical form. Now, here's the thing. Can I have a radical in the denominator? No. So on the top, I have the square root of x. The square root of x times the square root of x is x. x times x is x squared. So that would be my fully simplified form for that answer. I can even use this when I'm playing with double radicals. Cube root of the fourth root of 27 is equal to the cube root of 3 cubed. And the fourth root would be 3 to the 3 fourths. And now. I want to, again, I'm going to take that and it's going to go down to the denominator. So it's going to get the cube root's going to go away. And I get the 3 twelfths, which is 3 to the 1 fourth or the fourth root of 3 would be my final answer for that one. And where you're going to see it come in more advanced algebra classes or calculus are where I'm raising polynomials to powers. 3x plus 2 to the 5 halves times 3x plus 2 to the negative 1 half. Two things to the same base raised to powers. You add their exponents. 5 halves minus 1 half is 4 halves. 4 halves is 2. And then I can use either my memorized rule for perfect squares, or I could FOIL this out, box method, or whatever. And the final answer would be 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. So biggest thing is rational exponents. The numerator is the power. The denominator is the root. I can use it to help me write things in either exponential notation, or I can continue using it to write things to help simplify things in um, radical notation.